Hey guys, uh, I've got the HTC Magic here, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, basically customized the ROM on it so that it's no longer an HTC Magic uh, from Rogers, which uh, you can actually see from the back here, uh, but rather uh, an HTC from the new hero that's about to come up, or the firmware from the new hero that's about to come up in, I think, uh, beginning of July. Uh, so. Despite the fact that HTC did say they were going to go ahead and release the Hero firmware for all HTCs that are running Android, I figured I'd get a head start and uh, look into it myself. And I managed to get uh, a link off the XDA development website that you can go on. I'll post it on my link. I will go ahead and, uh, and let you put the rooted version of a customized ROM. So I'll just turn it on to give you an idea how it looks. So when you press the... Um, button down there to turn the screen on. Um, you have a choice of either pressing the menu to unlock it or you can actually just bring your finger down from the uh, lock screen. So it's kind of nice. You can see the analog clock uh, doing that thing that it just did. Um, just like the uh, iPhone, you can actually move uh, side to side. Um, this is your main screen but you can actually go from left to right. You've got about seven screens so there's quite a bit of stuff you can put on. So for example what I did is I put on the um, the included widget which is the bookmark widget um, when you press on it it gets you onto the internet um, so for example if you want uh, yeah or sorry Google you'll press the Google and I'll take you right to the Google website um, and that's if it works in this case it doesn't work so sorry guys I'll just go ahead and pretend that never happened <laughs> next thing you're gonna want to do is uh, if you go to another screen uh, you're gonna want to maybe install this widget here all of these widgets do come with the actual firmware so you won't have to go look for it somewhere on the internet or through the marketplace uh, this here is your calendar um, when you click on the date you can add events um, you can go ahead and just customize it the way you like it so that uh, you can have a quick glance at what you're doing Next thing you have, I've added the messages. So if I want to write a message, or if I've received a message, I can go ahead and just go through this stuff pretty quick uh, because it's just right on my screen. So you can actually go right into the actual program. Uh, you can compose a message. Or if you go back, um, you can read through what you've got. Um, another thing you can do is uh, down here, every time you move the screen, you can see this little bar moving from uh, right to left uh, or this little ball at the bottom those are your windows but uh, as soon as you let go you've got these three buttons down here that come up so you've got your applications when you press this on your left you've got your applications up and down you've got your phone uh, this is the dial pad that you get it's the HTC dial pad it is not the Google dial pad it's the HTC um, you can put that down and you can actually see your contacts right there uh, next thing you can do is you can actually uh, remember how I press my finger down to um, well actually I guess I didn't but if you press your finger down you can actually go ahead and add widgets but you can also do it this way by just pressing this plus sign right here you can add shortcuts you can add widgets you can add Google widgets and you can add folders we're not going to do any of that I just want to kind of go over it really quick with you here um, you can always still customize your screen by adding uh, an application right onto the screen um, another thing you can do which is nice one of the widgets I kinda like is the HTC widget which is uh, your bookmarks so you can have your bookmarks or not your bookmarks sorry guys your um, your people so I guess you're like kinda like your five people or your four people or whoever it's I guess it's like your 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 uh, bookmark sorry your phone book sorry guys this is like your phone book you can go through it right now I just installed this so I can't really say that I've got a lot on here um, but uh, it does require for you to have a data connection the reason why is because this firmware yet um, is not officially released so you won't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi does work on data so you will have to put your APN through Rogers to get this sorted out properly um, but uh, basically that's hero for you and this is an HTC from Rogers so um, hopefully you guys uh, like it too and uh, if you want to install it give me a bit of a heads up on how things are looking on your end to uh, tell me if you've done any other customizations so that I can try installing it or kind of giving you some feedback on what's going on with uh, this version right here 
So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video, and uh, if you have any questions, by all means, just let me know. Okay, thanks.